There'll be more robotic soccer later in the series, but right now, on with the wars. Craig, intriguing second round lineup. The lightest survivors, King Buxton against Weldor, but first up, Centurion against 101, and they're in the pits with Philippa right now. Are you nervous, Dad? Very. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. What do you think uh, of Centurion, who you're facing yeah, up to? What a mean-looking uh, animal, I think. Yeah. It was a magnificent first round for Centurion. Any tactics? Yeah, just hit it. Okay. Just play it. it. Keep out of it. Any tactics? Any ideas of what you can do? Run away or fight? Which one? Run away. Run away. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. All right. <laughs> They've got tactics. <laughs> I'm not right. telling you what they are, though. What are yours? Well, win. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no, we just go out there and uh, just do the best we can, really. You know, hopefully lift him, push him into a pit, but who knows? He's a okay. very good opponent, so... Uh, very good so opponent. He is, yeah, so we'll see how we go from there, really. Two nice teams. Nice, nice. Oh, come on, this is Robot Wars we want. Mashing up and mayhem here from these two teams. Centurion with the Axon 101, a trundler. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. The Tate's against the Franklins then, and 101 first to move. I've been down in the pits, you know, and had a look at those tracks. Couldn't understand why it had so much purchase on the arena floor. Screws stick out of those tank traps to dig into the arena floor, and it's Centurion doing all the work. With the front prongs lifting up 101, slamming it against the arena wall. There's Sergeant Bash, a lick of flame too. A lively start to this second round then. Centurion again using the prongs to get in underneath 101. We've not seen that weapon of 101 yet. A little spike which is said to come into play on contact with an opponent. Well, we haven't seen that yet. Centurion with the, again, eagle showing clearly. Turning away. Like some great... First World War tank slamming against another here. There is the weapon of 101. Did you just see it flicking out there like a snake tongue? Didn't cause any damage. There it is, look. Goes back in, 101, off the arena. Spikes using its own spike to nudge in against Centurion. Centurion lifts, throws into the CPZ, so Bash can come in with its front pincers. Also attacking Centurion. And the Tate team, Ray and Matthew Tate. Ray Tate wants to go and work for NASA, the space agency. Well, hardly a performance out of this world for either of these robots so far. Although, it looks as if 101, I thought it was going to come in with a slam there. On the side panel of Centurion, which is stuck, is it, on the arena wall? 101 on the attack. Is Centurion here immobilised? Let's have a look. There you can see the front prodding throng of 101 and still Centurion embedded on the arena wall and can't get away and I think he's immobilised here. Killalot agrees with me. The eyes are blinking of Centurion but there is no one upstairs. And they are in real peril now. Killalot senses, so does Dead Metal. It's all over for Centurion. And the Roman wars are about to come to an end here. Et to Kilolotte. Infamy, infamy. They've all got it in for me. The Centurion boys would cry. Oh dear. They're out. Well done, 101. Well, Centurion marches no longer. Despite his mighty axe, 101 goes through to the next round. This is just a fantastic story that your weapon started working for this round yeah, and that so meant you won because you we, just had we, a we wound took straight out, through. Yeah. Took them out somewhere. And Brilliant. that must have just felt fantastic that actually a design paid off. A, de a cheap design. Yeah, yeah. was it cheap? <laughs> yeah, it's cheap, really? cheap, yeah. Was it? Pounds, it's pounds. quite sophisticated. Well, yeah, but it's cheap. Scrapyard job, you know. Yeah, yeah well, we've been around. Great. Everyone was really impressed. People were stopping to look. Oh, who's that in there? It's just amazing. <laughs> and then... It all goes horribly wrong. Yeah. It went pants. Yep. It really did go badly wrong.
Badly wrong for Centurion 101 into the heat final with either King Buxton or Weldor then. Right, okay, hold it.